Hello everyone and good evening. I just hope that we had a great day. Please, if you are ready for tonight's class, let me just see um, a sign probably from the um, from the uh, page, I mean, uh, from the chat room, just with the hand or send a yes. A sign to show that you are present for tonight. Um, we just hope to have a great time tonight. Um, we are going to be focusing on reading tonight. And um, um, I just, I want us to um, be, get ready to, uh, to, um, for this class. We're going to be having a, a great time, all right? So um, I have seen some assignments that are posted and I think I like to express a very high level of um, gratitude to those who are committed to the assignments so far. Um, there's no better way to get to actually pass IS than to do assignments. Uh, I saw some, some people like talking about the issue of, um, 20, uh, of, of, of the dates and all that. Um, what, what I will advise is the purpose of the practice is to see the right, mm -hmm. the right perspectives to this stuff. And um, the more you see the right perspectives to this stuff, the more you adhere yourself to it. Once you have observed the pattern that the answer is coming with, just know that whenever you're going to have a question, follow that pattern. Do not um, be discouraged by the fact that it's not the way you are used to, it's not the way um, you have been seeing it and all that. Don't allow it to affect your concentration, don't allow it to affect your, your, your pursuit with it. Just follow the pattern. And as you do so, you get better and better. And I, I keep on talking about the issue of parameters. I will not stop talking about it. What is your new level of, of proficiency on your parameters today? Has it improved? Uh, is it better than before? Can you, can you I mean, do, do you have better hearing and sense? Can you um, predict better and all that? I like you to always check out on your, your, your proficiency level daily to know how ready you are for the exams, all right? So um, I, I, I'm moving on to reading today. And um, uh, for reading, the major parameters that you need to have, I, I, I mean, that, that, that is consistent and constant, that is going to really help you to um, do well and very well is the pace of your skimming and scanning. The pace of your skimming and scanning. Um, I'm going to be explaining in, in, in a very little detail why your skimming and scanning skill is crucial for you to um, do well in reading? Why is your skimming and scanning skill crucial uh, for you to do well in reading? Now, the reading um, text is a format of our, compre of, of our comprehensive passages. If you have done jam before, if you have done white before, this are normal English comprehension. That's the format that it comes with. But there, is, there are some very strategic um, um, stuffs about these passages. The first thing is that it is written in structures of paragraphs. And many times, the questions that are asked flow with the order of the paragraphs. So that you will likely not find a, a question that I mean, you, know, you likely not find a, a distant question in an early paragraph. You will likely not find. This is actually because it is structured. And that, those are one, um, one of the um, uh, uh, patterns that they have decided to write IELTS passages, especially 
um, um, the ones that um, the, the foreign English IHS uh, passages. And if that be the case, then you will need to have a training skill to be able to, put, to, to detect the answer or to be able to pick your answers or to be able to find your answers without necessarily reading the passage. Because so many people believe that just like we used to um, to, to, to do when we were in um, secondary school or probably in, a, in our normal comprehensive, comprehensive or whatever, we read the question, then we now read the passage. We read the question, then we read the passage. But in IELTS, they have structured the question so that uh, the passage so that you can pick your answers without reading the passage. And that is where your scheming and your scanning skills coming it's 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 it gives a a, a a kind of ability to be able to detect your answer to be able to to find let me what find your answer from a passage i want to make the passage look like a very big field all right with lots of balls different colors in on, on the field and then you are told to, and then before you enter the field, you are now told, can you pick so and so color of ball? All you just need to do is enter the field and look for the color you are asked to pick. Now, if, for example, I'm not giving any information about the color of ball I'm to pick, I will probably be stranded or I will probably be walking around the field and just be looking randomly. That is the way IS is, is written. The, the IS written is written. They have positioned the question and the passage to have so many kinds of answers within it. Whereas the, uh, the, the questions is only the guide to be able to pick the answers in the passage. So how fast can you pick your answers? That is the issue here. How fast? Write this down. How fast can I pick my answer? And that becomes the first question that brings about the skill of scheming and scanning. Scheming is, a, is, is the act of browsing through a, a whole passage to pick the main theme or the main idea in the passage. Why scanning is, is a bit um, more closer. That is, it's an act of looking to pick the main theme of a paragraph. So one has to do with the whole passage, the other has to do with paragraphs. And this is because what you will likely um, 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 go through in scheming is, is a bit wider than what you have to go through in, in scanning. In scheming, your focus is on the first paragraph and the last paragraph of the passage. Then the first and last sentences of the other paragraphs. So when you scheme, you just go to the first paragraph, and then you read the first and last paragraph of the other of the other uh, the first and last sentence of other paragraphs. Then when you get to the last paragraph, you now read the last the whole last paragraph. It gives you the picture of the passage. So you have not read through the whole passage, but you have been able to get the major theme, the major idea of the passage. And it is not always necessary to apply that skill in dealing with questions. I'm going to come back to that, but just know what I just said now. Now for scanning, it is more or less like going through every single word of a paragraph to pick, to pick a point or to pick an answer or to pick a keyword. So the scanning is a bit, um, uh, it's what I would call the most, uh, effective skill or the most the most used skill in dealing with your answers. It's like the skill that you're going to like apply more compared to the scheming skill. But the bottom line is that everything has to do with pace. Pace. How fast can you read? Can you read 30 words in a second? Can you read 50 words in a second? And the issue about reading is not understanding. You are not trying to read to understand. You are not trying to, to find out uh, mysteries about the, or, or depths about the thing the, the, the you are reading. You are just trying to pick the key word. So it's how fast can I go through 
and pick my keyword. That is the issue. Now, when you are reading fast and your mind is not there, you will not see anything. And that's the reason why in IELTS, in skimming and scanning, your reading is not with your uh, it's not with your mouth, it's not with your hand or with your with your pen. It's with your eyes and your mind. Your eyes connecting the word, your mind picking the words. Because if you are not able to see the words, you cannot pick the word. So the, your mind is not going to pick the word. And you have the word you want to pick in mind. And that is the reason why you need to be very vast in that skill of skimming and scanning. Skimming and scanning is reading through every single word at, at a very fast pace. At a very fast pace. And it works only for paragraphs. You can only scan a small space at a time. You can scan a small space at a time. You can scan like a whole, of course you can scan the whole paragraph, but in IELTS, it's preferable that you scan a small space, like a paragraph at a time to pick the words you are looking for. Now, I'm emphasizing this skill now because many of us are not vast in that skill. We are not able to read the words very fast. We take time. We, we, or probably we are slow. Or probably we think we need to understand. So we begin to read one after the other. As a matter of fact, I should be able to scan a whole paragraph in two minutes. That is even very, the two minutes is even much because that's 120 seconds. Am I reading one word per second? I should be able to at least read at least 10 words per second. So it's just a matter of just looking through this way, looking through this way, looking through, I'm in the next line, I'm in the next line, I'm in the next line, I'm in the next line. I'm picking all the things, all right, that's what I'm looking for. That's the way it is. And you must train yourself in that. And so getting articles, getting books, materials, reading through them, going through them is going to be a, a, is going to be a major advantage for you in the act of skimming and scanning. That's number one. Now, secondly, dealing with the, 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 the third aspect of, of reading has to do with vocabularies. Many times, the answers you are looking for are not written verbatim. They are written in other in, in synonyms. Now, I, I, I was recently having a, a, practice, a practice session with one of my students recently, and then I was looking for rain. The, the keyword I was looking for was rain. But I, you know, I just didn't, it didn't touch my mind that another word for rain is precipitation. So I was looking for rain. I'm not seeing rain here. But someone said, this is precipitation. Oh man, it's and then that's how we, I mean, I would have missed that. So it's good cool that you have a, a wide range of vocabularies in your mind, or probably in your, you know, it's, uh, you have access to a wide vocabulary to be able to know when synonyms have been applied when you are looking for your keywords. It's a very key um, aspect of learning. And that actually also boils back to your reading habits. If you have not been reading many materials, you have not been assessing yourself with many um, um, stuff, articles and all that, you will not have access to certain level of vocabularies. I'm telling you the truth. It's not a matter of um, trying to bring the fear to you, but it's just the truth. You will not have access to a wide range of vocabularies. I actually um, I, I prescribe BBC News app, BBC News app for my students. And I will prescribe it for you too. If you can get the news app, BBC News app. You get on Google Play, uh, Google Play Store or Android Play Store, whatever. Just just go there, type BBC News app. You're going to be finding hundreds of news, thousands of news that you could read. And your focus is to read, um, to skim, to scan, and then to pick the key words. What, what are key words now? Key words are otherwise called topic-specific vocabulary. They are the vocabularies you pick to be able to, um, um, you know, that, mean, that aligns with the topic that, and that you might need to pay attention to in the passage. They are the vocabularies you pick that align to the topic and that you might need to pay more attention to to be able to grasp the main idea. So when you read BBC News app, I will strongly advise that you write down topic-specific vocabularies that you identify or that you can pick in, in, those, um, uh, in, in, in those articles. Write them down in a, in a journal. You can have a booklet. 
vocabularies. And I will also strongly advise that you understand that in, in, in reading, there are 10 aspects that questions come from. 10 different aspects that question comes from that it will, it will benefit you to have had a lot of interactions with. 10 aspects. I will, um, I'm going to call out the aspects now and I'd like you to write them down. So when you are reading some of these materials, um, all you just need to do is go to, I mean, just, just I mean, on, on, on your BBC News app, just go on, 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 the, on the search pane and then- Yes, ma'am. You are playing up, Abby. I'm sorry, let me, let, let me put, I think there's somebody. Okay. So back to what I was saying. I will together play. So I said, all you just need to do is just go to the search pane and write out those specific topics. I mean, those topics. And then when you do that, you can you can actually read them. Um, I mean, you, you can write the vocabularies under them specifically. And that helps you to have a specific grasp of each of those areas um, that, um, that you are actually dealing with. And then when you now see passages al 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 along the, those lines, it will become so easy for you to pick um, the, the, um, the, the, the vocabularies that have been eaten. I strategically hide their vocabularies. And it's, it's, it's a pity that you do that, but we, you don't have anything you can do about that. You just, the best you can do is to find out how you can know those words throughout the time. And you cannot know everything. But you don't, don't because you can own everything, now discard everything. Do your best, do the little you can to get as much vocabulary as you can get. Probably look for the synonyms that you can look at, lay your hands on and have them in your mind. So that by the time you have access to those, some, some of those things, you're not going to be, um, you know, uh, a bit, uh, you know, I uh, mean, fixed up or, or fi fi fixated, or you'll not be um, scared, you'll not be bothered about that, you'll be able to lay your hand on it. So um, I want to read out some of the aspects that we should expect that questions will come, um, I mean, specifically passages. One, education. Two, communication and internet. Three, tourism and travel. Four, culture. Five, people and environment. Six, Food and environment. Now, I, I, I seem to be a bit fast. Let me come in again. Education, communication and internet, tourism and travel, culture, people and environment, food and environment, working, working world. Just talk about labor, labor, labor for a labor market and all that. Sports and activities, language and culture language and culture, then crime and money. Crime and money. So if you can not, if you can just get to know those aspects, what you're going to be getting to do is to be able to find access to a lot of vocabularies. And you get access to a lot of vocabularies that's going to really help you to answer the questions more accurately. Now I've laid some foundation on skimming and scanning as very key in dealing with your reading test. They're just foundations, actually. You need to have these skills as a foundation. And you need to practice the act of skin. I've had testimonies from some people that I have interactions with that they told me when they began to do a lot of reading, they observed that they were able to pick answers faster. And that actually is key. If you avoid it, you may delay a bit. You may, you may delay yourself from getting um, reading skills right. And I think you should, not, you should just give yourself that um, um, routine um, uh, lifestyle of reading materials. Just take a book, a book, read 10 pages, scan, just came through, scan through, pick the keywords, write it out, you know, and write them under each aspect that I just mentioned so that you can have them in your mind. So when you see the vocabularies, you will not be 
you know, it's not going to mean anything to you. It should be as normal as you are smitting any other thing. All right. So I will say that I, I like to move to the structures of questions to be found under reading. In reading tests, there are like seven or eight kinds of questions you are going to find. And the sorts of questions have different approaches of answers, although it is not so far 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 reached, but they have different approaches of answers. Okay. Um, some for me, I regard them as very simple. Why some are a bit you, you spend more time. Now, before I talk about that, I'd like you to know that it should be it should become a skill for you to find your keywords faster. But I, will, I just write, write it down. It is, it, is, it is a major skill to find my keywords faster. Write it down. As a matter of fact, that skill can get you to finish your reading in 45 minutes. That's the truth. 60 minutes stuff can be finished in 45 minutes if you can find your keywords faster. So that is a major skill. But just note, note that on the side. Now, what are the kinds of questions you're going to meet in reading? Number one, fill in the gap. Two, matching headings. Three, summary. Four, sentence completion. Five, direct answers to question. Six, labeling of diagram. Okay. Seven, um, you may also find a combination of these of these stuffs. You may find classification too. They are trying to ask you to classify this with that, classifying names. And then you have yes to not given or truth of not given. Then the last one is, which, which people regard as the toughest, matching headings. I'm too fast. Okay. I'm sorry. Let me come again. I said find, uh, finding, um, uh, filling the gap is the first. Filling the gap. And then we have um, um, summary. Summary. Then we have um, um, multiple choice. Filling the gap. Summary. Multiple choice. Then we have sentence completion, sentence completion, sentence completion. And then um, we have um, uh, classifications, classification or classified information, classified information. When they ask you, somebody said this, who said that, locating the person that said what and that. Okay. Then we have direct answers to questions. That one doesn't have gap. They just tell you, this and this happened, who, who said that? They have to go and look for it in the passage. And then um, we, have, we also have combination of these stuffs. They can combine everything together, okay? Then we have labeling diagrams or maps. Sometimes we have maps too. Labeling diagrams, we have labeling maps. And then we have yes, no, not given, or true, false, not given. And then the one that people regard as most the, the, the toughest of all is matching headings. Okay? Now, I've said this before and I want to say it again. If you don't know how to skim and scan and you go for IELTS reading test, you're going to have a 5.5. That's brutal. Sorry to say that, but it's true. If you don't know how to skim and scan very well and you approach IELTS reading test, you're going to have a 5.5. If you have a 6, you really try it. So it's good that you actually have, you know, done a lot of work with your skimming and scanning, especially on a daily basis. If you keep reading daily, just like if you keep hearing daily. Now, of course, you know, when we're talking about the listening and the listening test, we said keep hearing news, keep listening to news, keep listening to um, movies, listen to the, listen to that. Now, the same thing for reading. You want to improve your skimming and scanning, keep reading, 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 read, read, read. read. <laughs> Read, read everything that comes your way and read and read. But of course, when you're reading, don't just read like you are just reading normally. Don't read to understand, read to pick the idea, read to pick the keywords, read to pick um, the, 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 the vocabularies, and read to scan, read to skim. That will really help you a lot, okay? Over read, if, if, if you can. Read in the night, read in the day. <laughs> All right? So moving on to... Moving on to um, uh, the, the, the types of the question, all right? Now, from number one of those questions to the sixth or to seventh one, which has to do with um, uh, labeling diagrams, okay? From number one to labeling diagrams, an approach mm -hmm. advice. Mm -hmm. 
Hello, sorry, I, I had a little call there. Okay. Now, from number one to number six, which is okay, just just know that I'm dealing with the first to the one before matching agents. Okay. You will need to read the questions first. You will need to read the questions first. You will need to read the questions first. All right. That is key. Write it down. Write it down. All right. So from number one to number, you need to read the questions first. That's a major and a very important skill you need to note in dealing with matching. I mean, with, with, with those questions, you need to fix the questions first. Read the questions first. And when you have read the question, you pick the key words. You underline the keywords. I recommend people printing their reading, um, um, their reading materials so that you can be able to have access to the keywords. I, I, I give that recommendation. I will recommend that you print out, um, print out the, um, the, uh, the, the material for you to have access to the keywords. That's my major, major recommendation. Print out the materials so that you can have access to the keywords. If you, if you, if you are doing it on your phone, what I did when I was having my own time of practice then was that I write out the keywords, but it's, it's really not easy and it will take time. It will take more time. Although what it helped me to do is to be faster. So in the exam on, I actually had less, less work to do. I had less, less pressure and um, it actually gave me a bit of, you know, freedom. So that I can finish as early as 40 minutes uh, before, I mean, 40 minutes to the end, I mean, 20 minutes to the end of the of the um, uh, work. But for you to be able to have an effective um, time with the work, what I will strongly advise is why not um, get a preview to printed copies so you can always underline it just from the line. So, what are the keywords they have said it before? The nouns and the verbs, just underline them, underline them. Both from the beginning to the um to the end, the instructions, the the whatever it is that you find, they just keep underlining everything. Okay. So now when you underline the keywords, you pick the keywords and you look for them in the passage. Do you get what I just said? You don't don't read the passage. It's not time to sympathize with the passage. The passage is, is not, it's not, it's, it's hard. You know, some people have always said this stuff. Oh, passage is very hard. How do you know? Because if you didn't read the passage, you won't even know if anything is hard. And you see, it's a major distraction. They, they are asking you a question on ants. <laughs> you didn't go to school of ants. You never heard about ants. You know, you, you never knew what you mean. You just, all you know is that ants are cockroach and insects. Now they're not telling you something about ants you never knew before. And you took time to be reading, reading through. You, 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 you will definitely be carried away by whatever you, you, uh, you are reading. So it's not the time to see my, ah, this question. As a matter of fact, I, I told people, whenever you come out of IET exam, I say, oh, reading is very tough. I'm sorry you have a six in reading. I'm sorry you have a six. I, I've, I've, I've never missed it. Whenever I call someone, I say, ah, oh, reading was tough. The question is that which you must have read the passage. So you don't need the passage for those questions. You pick your keywords, locate it in the, um, in, the, in, in, in the passage, and you do that as fast as you can. Now, someone else said, what if I'm not finding them? Move to the next question. Okay? You look, you, you have picked the keyword for the first one you are looking for. If you didn't find them, go to the next question, pick your keyword. Now, the thing is, when you, if you don't locate the first one, you will likely locate the second. If you don't locate the second, you likely locate the third. I, I tell people, do not spend two minutes or to do us more than two minutes on, on, on locating keywords. You have 60 minutes, uh, uh, mm, you have mm. a 60 minutes um, 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 exam, all right, all right? You have 40 questions, not even 30, 40 questions. And you're not spending two whole minutes on a question or more. Oh my God, you are, you are threatening the life of the other questions. I, I told someone, I said, or I told some people, for one question, you sympathetically spend more time at or with, you will be missing four questions that you could have gotten easily. 
in front, I mean, ahead of you. So don't be too, 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 uh, don't be emotionally tied to a question. Ha, I must answer this question. You don't, you, you are not obligated to answer any question. As a matter of fact, there are so many questions that you, you may never have to answer everything. But the bottom line is never uh, spend unnecessary time on questions. I tell, I, I, I tell people, when you're dealing with reading in practice, use alarms, use alarms. Train yourself not to waste time and learn to bury yourself when you are looking for your answers, I mean, looking for your, uh, for your keywords in what you are doing rather than in time. So that you just set alarm of, okay, I'm going to be spending so and so time on this passage. And as soon as you start on the passage, you forget about time until you hear your alarm. So once the alarm rings, you move to the next passage. But part of the intrigues about it is don't spend more than two minutes looking for your keywords. I don't know whether I'm, I'm, I'm making any point to anyone. Do not spend more than two minutes looking for keywords and in the name of keywords or spending four minutes, five minutes. I said, what is happening? You are sweating. I'm looking for this for rats. Ha! <laughs> After five minutes, I see you have not seen rats. <laughs> you throw rats away, look for something else. And that's actually an issue that delays people. Now, let me tell you why you may not have to put a lot of attention on, on a question you are not seeing. The reason is because if you see the next question or the third question, the questions you are, you are not seeing, you will, you, you will be able to pick the scope of the allocation. Let me, let me give an example. Every question is symmetrically arranged except matching headings, especially per sub question. What do I mean? If you have matching headings, I mean, if you have filling the gap one to four, all right, what that filling the gap of one to four is symmetrically arranged in their order of answers in the passage. That is, they are after the order. You won't find two before one. You only you always find two after one, three after two, and four after three. So if you probably are not able to get number one um, 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 keyword in the passage, you will get number two. If you don't get number two, you get number three. And once you get number three, you will be able to get number two because number two is before number one. And probably if you're not able to get number two, you get number one then number two is in between one and two, not after. So that gives you a scope. You won't have to be looking all through the passage for um, widely for an answer that is not lost. You'll be able to know the scope. So getting other answers gives you a better privilege and opportunity to get the answers you are not seeing initially. I, I, I like you to understand this, and please kindly see how you can apply this appropriately in your practice. So I said this, I said, look, locate the keywords. And once you locate the keywords, you'll be able to locate the answers of the keywords. What I advise you is once you pick your keywords and you locate them, read the question again before you give your answer. Because if you just go to the keyword and then try to pick the answer, you may be picking the wrong answer. So try to go back to the question, look at the context, the question is, is, is what the question is trying to ask you to do, then answer your question. That is, this goes for filling the gap, match, um, uh, multiple choice. I tell people, do not read, do not read the choices. Do not read the choices of your, of your multiple choice before you get, before you find your keywords. Don't read the choices of your keywords before you get your, your, your key, I mean, uh, um, the, the keywords in the question. Try to read your keyword, get your keywords first in the passage, locate your answer, then come back to the, to the multiple choice to find your answer. That's a major wisdom. It's really going to help you. It will, it, 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 it will, it will hinder you from pressure and it's going to allow you to get yourself fully focused on getting the right answer for the multiple choice. And the same thing applies for summary. Same thing applies for um, direct answers. Same thing applies for even classification. Because in classification, you, you probably, okay. Okay, sorry, who, 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 had, who, had, who had the last one I, I said? I'm trying to remember. Okay, because I'm speaking spontaneously. Now I said, try not to um, 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 look at the multiple, choice, multiple choices that you have. 
before you look for the keywords in the question. Just look at the question, underline the keywords in the question, and even the multiple choice. But when you are reading the question to pick your answer, focus on the keywords in the question and pick, I mean, go ahead, pick the keywords, answer the question, then come back and compare that answer with the most, the closest to it in the, under the multiple choice. Do you understand? I guess that is clear. So this will help you to go to, to be able to answer all the questions that is probably given to you without much hassle. All right. Now, even for classification classifying of information, maybe you have names that you are told to classify. Maybe they said um, um, so and so and so so and so said this and that. Who said this? Who said that? And all that. Okay. Now, if you are giving. Uh, I'm really sorry, I will not really be able to, to attend to anything outside of the air right now. Um, please, if you can access um, the, the, the link that got us in here, please kindly post it on the Telegram page. A lot of people are finding difficulties coming back, all right? So I, 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 I said that um, paying attention to the keywords, getting the keywords in the, in the passage, I mean, the passage, answering them in the question, I mean, in the, in the question, gives you a, a kind of leeway ahead of other people because they will have to spend more time reading the passage before they get their answer. And it just, it's, it, it's, it's actually a matter of the skill of skimming and scanning that allows you to pick the keywords faster than other people, okay? And how fast can you look through your, your keywords and then get, get the keywords clearly before you pick your answer? It's actually a major factor that's going to really help, all right? So I haven't said all of this, um, I'd like to move to what are the issues about timing? Because I, 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 I have two more things to say. I will be paying attention to matching edits tomorrow. And of course, I'll also be paying attention to multiple, um, to feeling, I mean, yes to not giving tomorrow. But let me, let me talk about timing, okay? Uh, in dealing with timing, okay, yes, I'll be talking about timing right now. Now, in dealing with timing, you must have a strategy. You must have a strategy. If you don't have a strategy, you may not be able to successfully deal with time. I can tell you this with the all of my heart. A lot of persons have um, tried to answer the questions um, for IELTS in, let's say, 40 minutes or 50 minutes. Or six, or let me say in three hours. <laughs> they answered the highest question in three hours, and uh, you know it was it was really beautiful. They got forty forty, but the truth is that it's still applicable under that condition. <laughs> you know, you you know, you, if you like, get all these scores as long as uh, you are not able to you know to eat down at um, the time that you are actually um, expected to flow with you will have a lot of problems with um, eating your answer, okay? So I, I, I will emphasize very strongly that let's talk about this time and then in, in, by so doing, you get yourself you know, a medal of finishing early. Now, I, I, I like to say this quickly. Somebody had access to practice and in, practice, in, the, in, the, in the person of access to practice, the person was always getting 35. 37, 39, 32, and, but never talk about the time. Maybe the person finish, always finish 60 minutes, 65 minutes, 60 minutes, 65 minutes. And also now went for, for the exam, I'll, I now add the 6.5. And I said, and, and, now, so, and, and we are now discussing what happened. I, I, by the time they said five minutes more, I did not know what I was doing again. <laughs> so I was just write, I was just marking everything. I was just marking everything. I'm marking everything. I was just, I was just asking all the questions. <laughs> I was just picking, and that was the issue. You need to be able to find a time frame to. I'm going to mention four frames of time. How do you, how do you attend to time under under highest condition? Um, I'm mentioning four ways. Now, the first way is the five. Write this down, please. Five, thirteen, thirteen. 14, 15 approach, 5, 13, 13, 14, 15 approach. Write it down. 
Now, each of those time as um, I mean, is dealing with an as the as an aspect. Five, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen approach. The five, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen approach. Okay. Now, if you understand this carefully, um, I think it's going to really help you a lot to be able to answer the questions very well. Five, thirteen, thirteen. Now, if, if you got what I just said, just write it out, please. Because I like everyone to get it. I don't want to assume. So if you go, I just said, can you just write it out? 5, 13, 13, 14, 15 approaches. Uh, let me just list the, the approaches one after the other. Then we have the second approach, 15, 15, 15, 15 approach. The 15, 15, 15, 15. Approach. That's 15 in four places. Okay. And then we also have um the okay so let's start with the first one first then i'll, I'll speak of the, on the others all right nobody is writing anything okay don't worry all right um so i move on the 5 13 13 14 15 approach simply goes like this when you see the question you spend the first five minutes to go through all the questions from the beginning to the end Five minutes. And what you are, what, what are you doing? What am I saying? Sorry, what is this? Okay, okay. Okay, so you go from the beginning to the end. First five minutes. But marking keywords. Five minutes, excuse me, five minutes is a lot of minutes. <laughs> five minutes is five times six. 300 seconds, okay? So you could be able to utilize it properly. Probably maybe you just add two minutes more. You underline the keywords from one to 40, okay? So already as far as keyword is concerned mm -hmm. you know you are true with keywords you're not going to be having struggle um with um the keywords as far as i mean the keywords and the and the passage I and mean, the questions are concerned you don't have problem with keywords okay now you have 55 minutes left so you divide it into 13 13 14 15. so the first 13 minutes will be focused on the first passage okay the first passage and then you answer, you set an alarm, 30 minutes. So once 30 minutes is ringing, you switch to the second passage for another 30 minutes. Once the 30 minutes rings, you go to the third passage for another 14 minutes. Altogether, you're going to be having 40 minutes, no, 45 minutes spent altogether, plus the five, initial five minutes. So you have 45 minutes spent altogether. So after 45 minutes, you have 15 big minutes to go back to your work and then assess your answer. If you, are, if you want to sleep, you can sleep a little. <laughs> don't mind that, don't mind that. Of course you can't sleep, all right? But you just go through your answers, you go through the passage. If you want to read the passage, you will now read the passage. <clears throat> if you are probably did not were unable to answer some questions, you answer the questions and then, you know, you just play around and then you, you, get, you get to the end. And then when they're saying five minutes more, you're laughing and relaxing. That's one. Now the second approach is the 15, 15, 15, 15 approach. Okay, I didn't mention that, sorry. Three passages all together. There are three passages uh, with um, 13, is it? Three passages with 13, 13, 14. Okay, so we have 13 questions first, 13 questions second passage, 14 questions third passage, okay? So now the second approach is 15, 15, 15. So that means you are spending 15 minutes on the first passage. You use the first two minutes to pick your keywords and the last 30 minutes to answer the question. The same for the second passage, same for third passage. Then you have 15 minutes left to go through your work. Those are, the, those are two approaches. Now, there's some people that said, sir, that's your method of reading questions first. It has never worked for me. I said, why? He said, because it's never worked for me. All right. So what do we do? I said, no problem. Let's find a way out. So that's, this approach are for those people that are not able to find is reading the questions first. Okay. So in, in, in their own kind of approach, they do a kind of skimming of the passage initially. So they skim the passage. After skimming the passage, 
they answer the question and they do that 20 20 they do that 20 minutes for the first pass for the first passage 20 for the second passage 15 for the third but that is a risky method actually because by the time you are going to go to the third passage you are under pressure so the best thing is you don't read but if you must read just maybe the first four minutes to read then the remaining 13 minutes to go through the question and then you buy time of like four minutes in the bank when you go to the second question read answer the question like you naturally do you have buy time of four minutes and then the 15 minutes left you try and use another passage so the five minutes plus four plus four becomes your bank time that you can always use now why do we need bank time because we will not be able to um, finish we work properly under tension. What it means is that when you are told five minutes more, you will likely be under a lot of tension. And I will tell you the truth, it is not easy at that time to be able to get the answer. Okay? All right? So I only gave different approaches, okay? I gave different approaches. Now, um, you now make a choice of the one you want to use. I, the first one is five, 13, 13, 13, 13, 14, 15. That's the first. Second is 15, 15, 15, 15. And the third is 20, 20, 15. So that you have five minutes to check your work. Okay, but even at that, still find a way of pulling time across to yourself so that you don't end up struggling with time at the end of the passage. Now, there's one major thing that will help with your timing. And what is that? Doing the simpler first and the tougher last. This, the questions that are presented to us in IELTS, I don't get the approach. Okay, I will come back to it. The questions um, presented to us in IELTS are, are, I mean, some are simpler, some are tougher. All right? Um, filling the gap up to um, yes to not given as simple. They are, they are simpler in getting the answers than matching headings. So it is good that when you see any question, do matching headings last. Do matching headings last. And then yes to not given should be second to the last. So whenever you approach, the, you, you get your, your question, you don't focus on matching headings and yes to not given first. First of all, approach the simple questions first. All right? Do we get this? All right. I'm going to answer the questions coming. I'm going to answer them, but please, let's note this. Write this clearly. Do the simpler questions, the simpler questions first and the tougher questions last. That's a major way to work with your time. It gives you advantage. I've, 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 by the time we, we speak on um, matching edges tomorrow, you understand why I'm saying this. I'll be speaking on yes, not given, and matching edges tomorrow, especially. So, but get the point clearly. Do the simpler questions first and the tougher questions last so that you can buy time and you can ensure that the time is properly. Now, let me go over the time approach again. The first one is 5, 13, 13, 14, 15. That is five minutes for the, for, 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 to, to mark the keywords for the 40 questions. 13 minutes for the first passage, 13 for the second passage, 14 for the third passage, 15 to go over and check your, if you are there, you go to the toilet to sleep if you want to. Then the second approach is 15, 15, 15, 15. So 15 for the first passage, this time around, you're going to be answering, you're going to be picking your keywords per passage, not picking the keywords for all the passages. So you spend two minutes picking the keywords, then 30 minutes on the questions, and then two for the keywords for the third one, 30 for the questions for the third one. Then you have 15 minutes to now over to go over and check your work, or probably do the tougher ones that you decide not to do initially. Then the third one, which is for people that always like to read the passage first or to want to skim the passage first, is 20, 20, 15, then 5. That is 
20 for the first passage, 20 for the second passage, 15 for the third, then five to go over. And that is actually the most complicated. It will likely not be. But because you read the passage, you need a bit more time than others. All right? And I said in those in that last group, I mean in, in, in that last group, try to buy time. Don't use the whole 20 minutes. Keep some time for investment purpose so that you can use it. You can add it up the five minutes left to go over your work. Now, someone said we are not going to be allowed to take risk watch to the exam. That is very true. But you're going to be allowed to use alarm in your practice. So get used to the alarm so that you get used to the timing. That's number one. Number two, um, you will be having access to a very large, you know, to, to a number of big, big um, time, time, time um, uh, frames in the exam hall that is going to allow you to apply your time. So as soon as you are getting to the exam hall, already note the number of minutes you're going to spend and write it on, on top of your question. So that once, it, once that means clocks, you move to the next question. So just, for instance, you go to the exam hall and you have to start by 12. The first thing to do, 12 to 12, 12 13. Then 12, 13 to 12, 26, 26 to 12, 39. So you know that by 12, 39, I'm getting out of these stuff. Just calculate your time and work. I don't get what somebody said here. There's not like in the exam hall. I don't get. So, but I said there is no alarm. You're not going to be allowed to take your time to the exam hall. You will not be allowed to take your timing, your time or allowed to the exam hall. But you'll be assessed with time, with clocks, big, big clocks. And all that, you are with that. So, but your practice will have made you to get to 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 get used to a particular time of 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 of, of dealing with the questions. Now, let me tell you what this timing this timing practice will do for you. It will grow you. It will grow. So that initially you may be initially, then as you keep on reading and you are getting better with the schemes of the skills of scheming and scanning, you get to a point you'll be able to spend. 13 minutes on 20 on, on, I mean, on 13 questions without any struggle. Then before you know it, you even finish before that time. That's what you begin to do. And then as you are growing better, you begin to get better. You'll be able to finish act the, you'll be able to actually finish in four five minutes. And then you'll be able to like use that 15 minutes to go through your work and play around. But you have to grow. It's not going to be something that we happen in the first uh, or, I mean at the first time of practice. It's not it, it, this thing doesn't fall on people. It doesn't happen suddenly. You have to grow into it, you know. When I started practicing, I was getting hilarious marks, like 24, 22. But the bottom line is, uh, you, don't, you cannot afford to say, wow, I'm, I'm discouraged, I'm stopping. No, you have to keep on practicing. And that's why for reading, practice should be every day. So as we started this reading practice now, I'm going to be practicing every single day. One, one, I mean, one, one reading per day. One reading per day. Okay? So that actually is going to really help. Um, Yes, the five minutes is to underline the keywords in the question for the 40 questions. All right, so if you have been practicing very well at this, it will not be a major issue and in the exam. Of. So these are things that, and that's why we are, we are having these strategies. See, it's like you are going to war. I, I, the way I approach reading, <laughs> I approach it like someone that wants to go for war. And you know, when you, are, when you, are, when, when you pick the keywords, for instance, the keywords is, is, um, is um, maybe institution. The keyword is institution, and then you are now looking through the the passage to pick institution. <laughs> you know, and then you are now seeing something that's trying to distract you. Maybe you don't one word. You just the way you will throw, throw away that word and move to the next word because you want to really know. Um, I mean, you want to pick your words fast. You don't have time to waste. Once you see institution, I've caught you. <laughs> I tell you the way I approach it. I caught you, institution. This is you. Bam. I go to the question, but what's the question? What are the substitutions? I just go there, jam. And then I pick it up very fast. All right, I, I, I said it is proper that you get, if you can, is, 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 I think it's wise. It's wise if you're able to get um, printed copies of um, the software you're trying to use to practice. My own opinion is that you will do well getting the materials you want to use printed so you can underline. It's easier. 
But if you can write down your keywords fast, like the way I used to do, no problem, it's fine. Um, that, 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 would be, that would not be a problem, okay? So uh, in summary, in summary, okay, um, I think we have spoken a little bit about the major foundation skills for reading, skimming, scanning, finding your answers through the skill of, of scanning. And then we talk about vocabularies, you need to like read a lot so that you can pick a lot of vocabularies um, and have them in your, in, in your, you know, in, in your barn or in your, in, in your store so that you can you know, identify synonyms faster. And then uh, we talked about the kinds of questions that you're going to likely with, and we did that with finding, a, um, finding I mean, um, filling the gap, all through till um, classif classifying of information and all that. And we said, you, you, the major thing is pick your keyword and then um, find out the, the, the place where it's hidden in the, in the passage and then look at the question again, then find out how the answer is in the passage. And many times it's in synonyms, but don't be bothered, don't be, don't be moved by that. Just try and find out how they frame the answer, then try and describe, describe the answer. Now, why do I say filling the gap is the easiest? Filling the gap, yeah, I think you are correct. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Thank you. So filling the gap is the easiest place. And um, it's because they will always tell you, the word in the passage. So you are only expected to write the word in the passage. So that means they have put the answer inside the passage for you. Now, where it becomes a bit difficult is when you have to look for the synonyms of the answer. Sometimes you find some questions like the summary. Summary, for example, they, they write in some words in a box and then they will tell you to um, you know, look, for this, look for, for the appropriate word in the box and fill in the gap. So those words are not the same words in the passage, but they are synonyms. So you have to now look for the, you, you, you know, it, it, it gives you more work. First of all, look for the answer in the passage. Then number two, look for the words that is most, most closest to it in the box. That was a bit more tougher. So before you get your answer done, all right? And then the other ones, um, the one that has to do with um, sentence completion, very easy. Pick the words in the passage. The ones that has to do with multiple choice. It's a bit difficult because you have, they, they paraphrase the answer in the, in the choices and it's going to be conflicting. But once you get your answer, look for the most similar one and, and then put it there, okay? Classifying information, they give you the name of somebody, they said, you said so and so. You have to look for the, what you said in the passage. So <clears throat> you pick the name, look for where, where, where the name is found in the passage and look for the words that were said, then pick it and look at the choices that are, that are on ground. If it tallies with it, fine. And then, you know, you pick your answer there. So, but these things are not going to happen um, by just um, just trying to you know uh, memorize these, these, these strategies. <laughs> okay, I now know five 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 to twenty two. If you memorize the strategies and you don't practice it, you'll be at the same spot. So you have to like get this done. And this, of course, never be discouraged at your first your first time twenty seven. Don't worry. As you do more, you get better. But I advise people that please do not um, abandon a, a, a reading task that is difficult. If you get 20 below 13 in, in, in a reading, do it again. If you get any, any score that is not your, your kind of score, do it again. Always do it again. Do it the third time. Do it the four, until you get 35. What are you doing by doing it again? You are, you are, you are building a skill. You are building a skill. You are building a skill, all right? And the skill is you are building how to answer. Now, when you now get to another passage that you are not familiar with, the skill you have learned from the repeated reading would have given you a level of, um, what, what I would call a very high level of, uh, of, of, of um, um, competence or expertise to be able to deal with what you did not know. So I will, uh, I will encourage that you don't abandon a passage that you got 22 initially or 18. Do it until you have 35. And then when you, once you have done that, I make sure you repeat the same strategies. Let a strategy be, um, become a part of you. Don't, don't, I mean, don't jump in, in, into men. Don't say, I will use the first strategy. I will use the second strategy tomorrow. Then I'll now use the third strategy after. Then next week I'll use, no, get used to a strategy 
let it be part of you on a very daily basis so that as you do that, you get um, in a way uh, 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 used to it and it gets used to you. And at that level, answering questions becomes easier for you um, at a level. The truth is, you will always get better with reading, but you have to start from the lower part. It's, that's the truth. You will not get to, you will not start getting 35, 37. All the persons I personally had contact with, they never started from that, that, that score. In fact, some of them even felt discouraged. Which one is this number? Mark, I'm getting 24. So I, I, this is almost two weeks now. I said, just continue. And don't forget to read every day so that you can actually improve the foundational skills for it. So I, I don't know whether anybody has questions. I, I think um, we, have, we have done a bit of drill on that. Um, uh, I'd like you to, uh, you know, ask, ask your questions and uh, let's see how we can answer as many questions before we leave. You, you may ask your questions on the chats, chat space. Um, and uh, I think we, we, we move from there. You may ask questions on the chat space. And you may also ask your questions. Um, you, can, you may speak to me directly. Whichever one, um, I'll, I'll, I'll be answering. Is it best to, to, is it best, okay. Is it best to practice reading with printed copies instead of laptop? Well, it depends for me. I, I was able to use my phone, but I've observed that a lot of people prefer the printed copies because of underlining keywords, underlining keywords, underlining keywords. Um, so that actually um, with kind of hasting your level of, um, it's hasting your level of, of, of um, what, what would I call it now? It's only your level of, of proficiency, of, of getting the skill better rather than struggling to write out the keywords and all that. For me, that, 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 that may actually be the issue. Now, for uh, Mr. Ari, I, I just feel you could wait a little bit for others. Then probably we ask, answer it at the last, I mean, maybe as the last questions, okay? okay? So I'm waiting for others, please. I, I like to have both voice questions and chat and, and um, chat room questions too. Whichever, I will, I, will, I will appreciate as much as we can do. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, ma. I can cite you. Okay, um, so let's have, let's have questions as much as we can, please, um, on reading. So while we are probably waiting for the questions to come in, um, the, um, the, we are going to be um, um, encouraging us to do the um, reading, um, reading text for Cambridge 8. But I'm thinking that you give us his, a, a, maybe wrote to Wyatt first, then, then um, maybe we move to Cambridge 8. So, okay, maybe we just wouldn't know Cambridge 8 today. I will send the wrote to Wyatt's questions on the page and I will send the answers to. So try and do the questions today and submit. You could submit to me directly. Okay. Okay, somebody's asking a question. Thank you, Mr. Festus. I appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Juliet. Thank you. Can one master finishing on time with a one week practice? Ah, but that would depend on the answer you are getting, on the scores you are getting. <laughs> you know, if, if, if you have, if someone told me that sir, I'm finishing on time, but I'm not getting good scores, I said, well, that means you, have, <laughs> yes, you still have a long way to go. You know, if, if you are finishing on time, you are, you are, you are finishing with 13, 13, uh, all the 13 stops, and then all of a sudden you find out that um, <laughs> you are not getting beyond 30. Ah. Sir, you have so gotten into. <laughs> you just have to do more practice and get your schema, schema, scanning skills right, um, or better. Have more vocabularies in your, in your, in your stock. I mean, in your bank, and I think you, you find yourself. Good. Now, see, the thing is, it must go pari passu. Practice is important. You must practice every day. That's normal. But it is actually more dangerous to practice every day and not, um, and not. Uh, uh, I mean. And get better in scheming and scanning. It's, 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 it's more or less like, you know, wasting, your, it's like you're investing much energy um, on one, one side or you want to work on one leg, it's not possible. So you need to actually help yourself in the two lines, the two lines, okay? So um, somebody was asking something, I'm, I'm sorry, let me check this. Um, 
okay, I use IS Pride. Well, for me, I, I, I will not advise. I will not advise you to use any kind of practice materials except road to it that is provided by the British Council and um, Cambridge materials, Cambridge IS materials, Cambridge IS practice materials. They are the best because they will give you the format. They will, they will ask the question based on the formats. They will ask the question based on the formats, based on the format that the, that the exam will be asked. Please, if you are using IS online and all that, I'm sorry, it may not be, um, it may not be that, that easy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It will not be that easy. My challenge is reading. How do I? If you have been talking over this, um, if you probably, which you feel probably you still need more help over it, then probably we talk after the class. Um, what is the solution if I get tired? Well, well, this is a normal, a very normal um, experience for everyone. Now, if you are, if if you have been bored, please. I want to ask a general question now, and I want everybody to answer. If you have ever done a reading test and you, have, you ever get got bored before the end, can I say a and or a yes or something? You 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 did a practice test and you ever got bored that you are like, wow, this is really boring, this is really boring, this is really boring, and all that. Okay, I've seen. <laughs> what is that? Yes, so okay, <laughs> interesting. Okay, <laughs> all right. Now you see, this is the way it is. This this, this, this is the truth about reading. The, the strategy, let, let me tell you some very funny tricks. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> All right, now let me, say, let me tell you a trick. Now, the trick for IELTS, the trick for the exam is to get you bored. That's, that's the reason why they, 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 they ask you, they, they present abstract passages, abstracts. You know, in the, in the um, fifth, my fifth attempt on IELTS, before I, the, the one I, the, the one I initially passed writing, um, the first question got me. Actually, they, 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 they got me. But I, you know, being that I've been practicing, I never get, got myself disturbed about that. So I just continued. So when I got to the second second passage, I I need a break. So I went to the toilet. So coming back from the toilet, because I spent two minutes, and thirty minutes on the two questions. So on the two passages. So I also came back. I now saw that the top passage was in my line. That was personality. I was like, woo, this is what, <laughs> they played into my leg. But you see, bottom line is, the passage is not your business. And that is what gets people bored. If you are concentrating on the passage, you get more bored, right? If, if you are concentrating, <laughs> someone said your fifth. <laughs> and that, that was the fifth and the last. <laughs> All right, don't worry, you have my story later. Okay, so um, you see, if 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 you concentrate on the passage, you get much more bored, much more more bored. That's the truth. So that's the reason why I said those people that like reading passages, that's where they they, they, they get them stuck, and by, and and by, and by the time they they hold them by the leg, what happens is you cannot you you cannot go beyond the level they put you. If you have if if they, if you are trapped by IELTS reading passages, you can't go beyond that level. That's the truth. You will be held. And so that's the reason why I recommend do not read the passage. It's a red line, it's a red line warning. Some people say, sir, I cannot but read. Hey, no problem, sir. You can read, no problem. Because your mind will be focused on <laughs> your mind will, your mind will be focused on, on um on getting the answers more than getting the questions. Do you get did, did you get what I just said now? You see, if if if, if your mind is focused on getting the the, 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 the questions. Or, or, or getting what's the passage rather than getting your answer, you will be having a lot of boring moments because the, the stuffs are so just they are clumsy land words brought together. And when the uh, when the satellite went and satellite was moving to the moon, and then the moon the, the moon now now got into the plane. And what is this? And all that. so you may not necessarily have business with the passage except to choose to, and that would be that would mean the very first crisis that you must deal with is ad avoid the temptation of trying to read an abstract passage. Avoid it. It's a wisdom that you must apply. Avoid the temptation of trying to read an abstract passage. Focus on getting your answers and jumping out of that stuff. 
You see, it's when, when, when you finish um when you finish when you finish the questions and you are probably moving to um to get um maybe you have 15 minutes left, you can ask, okay, let me just while away wait time. And and then another thing again is the faster you finish, the lesser the app, the probability that you get bored. The faster you finish, lesser probability to get bored, which means that you can focus your attention on finishing in 45 minutes so that you can have 15 minutes to check your answers rather than just sit down and say, I'm going to spend all the 60 minutes on my question. It's my time. You likely get bored if you do that. So working with your time and making your time to work for you, which is which means trying to spend the the um, spend the 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 time um more productively faster or earlier than later gives you a possibility to break the bottom strategy okay and that actually becomes a, a a very good way to stop being bored i don't know whether you get i don't know that you get uh, um and get me please so um focus attention on answering i mean getting the answer rather than looking at the monstrous passage okay for for christian people that are here of course you know if if david uh, was going to be looking at the big nature of goliath of course you know goliath is going to destroy him so uh, i guess you, you can use that just use that that analogy to apply your principle to um, um i mean again, i mean avoiding boredom okay so i don't know whether i answered the question because i think i swear i think i was able to I think I hope that's the question. Oh, working with your time, the, your, your, the time frame is going to really be a lot of way to help you to like break the bottom um, trap. Okay, let me see if there are other questions that are coming up. Sorry. Somebody was saying that I'm a Sorry. slow reader. And now, I, I've always said this, um, I'm, I'm my vocabulary is not adequate. Hey, I've said it. So you have said what you need to do. If you're a slow reader, you can grow. Everybody was a slow reader. <laughs> There was nobody that there was nobody there was nobody that was a fast reader any time. Okay, so please don't 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 ever get to see that how this person is a reader. You say this one is a powerful reader. There's no reader anywhere. And you see, the skill you need to 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 get better on in IET is in you, but you need to build it. And that actually comes to the issue of reading. You have to read. That's why I said, you know, intentionally plan. I'm going to be looking at. All right, I'm going to be looking at the passage and I'm going to be looking through the passage. I'm not going to be distracted by anything and I'm going to get my what I'm looking for. Now, another thing that affects people is that when they're in the passage, their mind is somewhere else. And you see, your mind will pick the word you are looking for. Your eyes will read the passage. Your mind will pick what you are looking for. So if your mind is maybe on something on the fire or your mind is um, something, or probably your mind is distracted from the passage, what will, what will happen is that you will see that what you're looking for, you will take your eyes away from it. And as a matter of fact, you know, you're calculating a lot of things. Sometimes you will see what you're looking for in another word that is not the word you're looking for, but is the word that is what you're also looking for, but not the same, not in the same phrase, not in the same frame, not in the same word. So your mind is what you need, okay? Your mind is what you need to pick the answer and pick it fast. So training yourself in reading and scanning we go a very long way to allow you to pick your answers and pick it fast. I don't know whether we got that, please. So it's um, uh, a matter of training and, and a matter of consistency with your reading habits that will help you a lot to get um, really better in your reading, okay? Uh, am I saying that? Okay, the, the reading- Can I ask the question? Minutes in all. Okay, 60 minutes in all, okay. And um, you spend, so it's a matter of that, how you mind your time. They, they give you three minutes on 40 questions. And I, when I have I said 1.5 minutes per question, we go for uh, 60 minutes, okay? 40 questions, 1.5, all right, minutes per question. That is what it's going to go for a question. If you spend 1.5 minutes on a question, you're going to be spending 60 minutes. I, I think I'm right, please. Okay, so but so but there are some questions you cannot afford to spend one minute on. They are too simple. <laughs> no, so and you know the earlier you can spend those seconds, the better. If you can really get your answers faster, 
you will not spend 1.5 minutes on the question. You will only spend one minute or maybe 30 seconds. And you get your, you pick, you pick, you be able to pick your, your, your keywords fast, pick your answers. Then you now devote the one that you spend, you need to spend more time on to the last part. Okay? So it's all about management of time. Okay? And managing time very well, which actually has to do strategy. If you don't have a good strategy, I'm sorry, time is going to be your enemy. Okay? And then I, I must ask something. Do not answer the questions in your in your in your question in your, in your question sheets answer straight in the answer sheets because you will not be given time to cop, to copy your answers like light writing so you no know, I, 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 I was in, I was in, 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 in an exam scenario and um, you know the, the examiner said stop and then was starting to copy the answer <laughs> in the um, in the answer sheets and they had to just collect it. Maybe she was in number five. Imagine all the sweats of getting the answers on the question and then not being able to copy it. Answer straight in the answer sheet, straight on. Because you now have time to copy your answers. Okay. So uh, do we have any other questions? And um, I think we had a great time tonight. Um, I think the recording will be available tomorrow. So I think that should not be an issue. All right. So um, for um, for those of us that attended tonight, I think we had a great time. Um, okay. But Hello. Hello. I have a, I have a question. Choice questions, okay? All right, you can ask the question now. I think everybody has asked their question now. Can I, I ask? Can I ask? So I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Mr. Ido. I'm with you, Mr. Ido. I'm following you. So, but if you still have questions, please feel free to ask. Um, you can ask directly, and you can ask. Can I ask the, my um, question? The, Hello. Chats. Hello, can I ask? In the chat room. In the chat room. Can I ask? You can ask. Oh. Okay, my question now is Hello, how do you deal with those difficult, very difficult and confusing questions that are time wasting? Ha, sorry. Okay. I'm still. Can I go on? Okay. I think we are getting to the end of this. Um, the questions are not coming in. Uh, I like our uh, Mr. Bella to speak to us. I guess he's online. Let me see if I can unmute him. Okay. So, um, while we are waiting for the other questions to come in, I I I perceive we should be we should be free now. Um. It probably okay. So, Mr. Bella, I think Mr. Bella should come up. Hello? Too, but um, if you still have questions, please feel free. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm waiting for Mr. Bella to, to come up. Hello. So that we Hello. section and everybody can go. Uh, Hello. Good evening, everyone. Is this speaking? Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Mr. Atina. Good evening, Mr. Bella. Okay, sorry, sorry, I could not join in like, in the class. I'm, I'm on my way home from Uber. So oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I wasn't hearing any question. No. I think my volume was really low. Please, can you ask it again, please? I'm sorry. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. I'll I just say, well, well done, Mr. Mr. Steve. You're doing an amazing job. Um, I just want to say to everyone, just spread the word. Spread the word on Facebook. Inform your friends about it. We, we can change the opinion of people. Those who have this knowledge can share it for free. Um, yeah, that's that's the best thing that some people are doing it for free. Who knows? Other people might try to start doing it for free as well. Because uh, the knowledge is, is required to pass the exam. Um, I, I hope, I pray that all of us uh, will get a success at all we lay our hands upon. Um, yeah, I, that, that's all I have to say for today. 
Thank you. Okay. So thank you everyone. I guess um, we are good to go. Thanks, Mr. Bella. It's great to um, be at home with you. And thanks everyone. Um, Mr. Steven. Good night, Mr. Steven. And and Mr. Bye, everyone. Bella. I'm just going to get back on my way home. Thank you. Yeah, All bye right. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. -bye. Yeah. Hello. Hello. I was asking a question, or maybe it should be tomorrow. Again, please, I'm, I'm, I'm right with you. Okay, I was like, how do you deal with those difficult questions that are confusing and time wasting? Yeah, that's why I said you ask, you answer them last. You don't, you don't pay attention on questions that are difficult at the first. You focus your attention on um, the difficult questions at the last 15 minutes you have to go through. In that situation, you can, you can decide to go to the passage, word for word. You can read more slowly. You know you have time at, by your side. Mm, you so really you are not under the pressure of time. And then you can actually be more focused on answering them. Rather than, because you if you do that, you want that win. gives you a better, a better uh, likelihood of getting them than when you are looking at them when you are under pressure at the beginning. And at the beginning, you should answer questions as fast as you can. So when you are not having to get that done easily, then you should rather just push them to the time when you will be able to have a bit of freedom of mind, knowing fully well that you just have few questions unanswered and not like 20 questions left. Maybe you just have like five or six questions unanswered and you have like that, um, like 15 or right, 10 minutes. That's quite a lot, a, a lot of time. So you can actually spend more of those times to read the passage, I mean, the areas where probably you find the questions littering around and then get your answer. And if you are able to get the answers, fine. If not, the ones you have gotten could just be what you need to, to go through. And so don't do not allow those questions to waste your time at the beginning. That's why I said answer the simplest questions first and the tougher questions last. And I said majorly tougher questions are matching edges and probably yes, no, not given. Those are usually the tougher questions. Matching edges, yes, no, not given. And so rather than just waste time on that, push them to the last. And we are going to be dealing with matching edges and yes to not given tomorrow. That will be the focus for tomorrow. And I'll be, I'll be posting the assignments I mean, for tonight on the Telegram page. Um, uh, that's um, go to IET. I'll be posting it on Telegram page so we can actually have them and do them. I guess I've answered your question, please. Very well, sir. My next yeah. question is: Now, is there any is there any advantage of practicing slow, slowly, or can I just no. go straight practicing fast? Or yes, what's the benefit of from the day one of your practice? Start practicing as fast as you can okay, from the day okay. one of your practice. Start with start working with time. You know, I I, I think we, we know about this Pav. I don't know whether everyone everyone, everyone knows or knows this. This Pavlov um uh, classification uh, uh, whatever and on that maybe be rational psychology where you are probably are giving a dog something and then the dog gets used to it. So if you are yes, actually used to yes. time very quickly. I mean, very early, you get to time very late. If you are not used to time very early, you might have difficulty switching back to time. And that time you may find difficulty it may be a very close time to your exams. So it's better that you, have, you probably deal with the difficulty of time from the beginning of your practice. I found people that they were able to switch, but not everybody was able to switch. So it's better that you just, you know, strictly work with time from the beginning Start the trick of five, five thirteen, thirteen, thirteen. But use your alarm, set an alarm. Once the alarm rings, break the alarm. Move to the next, next um, paragraph, um, next passage. Once the alarm rings, break the alarm. Move to the next paragraph and passage, and then let that be your normal, um, your normal um, attitude, your, your normal approach, so that as you grow you'll probably be able to work with the limited time and still get a very substantial mark, all right? Your, the very first stuff you get will be like a kind of exposure to your level of proficiency. But as you, I have said it, don't, don't ever feel discouraged when you get low marks. Do it again and do it again and do it again until you get very high marks. Don't say I've done it before. I know the answers. Just do it again. So as you do it again, you'll be able to get 
um, to a point where you can literally get maybe 35 and above. If you're going to use that same um, energy to get another question done, maybe the second day, you will probably do better than you did the previous day. And I should do that one again and again. You, it, it becomes something you are used to naturally. And before you know it, you have less issues with time. Is that right? All right. Thank you very much. Hello? Thank you very much. I'm grateful. Yeah. Thank you very, You're very welcome. much. I'm grateful. Okay. Yeah. We have probably questions that probably I, 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 I was coming up and I didn't hear this. So there is this particular question called um, okay. matching information to paragraph. Match, matching, matching information to paragraph. Yes. Maybe we will like do that tomorrow. Okay. We are dealing with that tomorrow. I I I definitely push that for tomorrow so that we can actually is that right? Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So thank you everyone. I guess no other questions are coming. So thank you very much. Great time. Tonight. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Yeah. I'm highly grateful. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, too. God, God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, good night. Yeah.